Hey guys, what is up? Quackware here today uh, to continue our C++ tutorials. We're going to be going over reading and writing to files. Um, basically going off that uh, input output streams that we had before. Uh, we're going to kind of be using something very similar to that with the uh, standard library. And we are going to be basically using these streams to instead of write to like standard in and standard out, we're going to be writing and reading from files. Fun, fun stuff. So things that we can actually use. So the first thing that we're going to need is uh, we're going to go ahead and do this using namespace standard for std. Just so we don't really have to do that SD, std colon colon. Uh, we're just going to put that in main. And uh, what we're going to need this time, remember last time we used IO stream. This time we're going to use something called F stream. And that basically stands for file stream. So let's just go ahead and include F stream. And since we're also going to be using strings, let's just go ahead and include that. This will allow us to use the standard string. All right, now that we have that done, um, as you can see in this right here, I have an in.txt and an out.txt. Uh, the out.txt is completely blank. That's what we're going to be writing to. And this in.txt just has something copied from Wikipedia about ducks. I think it's the morphology of ducks. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading this in, I think, probably a word at a time. And then we're just going to be writing it to out.txt. So hopefully after we run this, we'll see that this doesn't change, but that this out.txt file will actually change to have all the stuff in there. So this is really useful if you want to, say, write a program that reads in a file and counts how many words of like a specific word are in the file. We'll probably do that later as like an exercise in a different video. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start it off. So in order to read from a file, use something called an if stream. Um, you can kind of uh, remember that by input file stream um, and we basically have to give it a name so let's just do it in and then give it the name of the file as its constructor argument and we haven't really gone over constructors yet but um, basically you just pass in a value to it and the value of it is uh, the file that we're trying to read so just in.txt looks like everything works out fine it found um, fstream and everything and then we have to go ahead and have an output file. So if you guess from there, if if stream is input file, then we probably can guess that of stream is output file. So I'll just call it out, and let's just do out.txt. Great. And we have to basically, um, the way that we're going to be reading in uh, one letter at a actually, we'll probably do one line at a time. Um, we can also do one letter or uh, various other ways of doing it. Um, but we're going to be using something called getLine. Um, and getLine, basically, the first argument it takes is the input stream that we're uh, reading from. You can uh, replace this with, say, stdc out. And it'll, instead of reading from a file, it'll actually get line by line from standard in. So that's, say, if you want to read a line of standard input, um, like one line at a time. This is great for like entering commands into your program. Um, so uh, look up this get line and you'll see that it says it takes an input stream as its first argument. And you can kind of play around with seeing if you can get standard in to work for that instead of uh, input streams. So anyway, we'll just go ahead and pass this in. And if uh, it actually takes a second argument, which is a string where it stores the line that it gets from the file or the input string uh, or input stream. So we're going to have to create a... Uh, string variable here and then we pass that to um, get line now this isn't that great since it only gets one line and stores it in line we want to continuously get that so what we're going to be using we're going to be using a, a while statement which we also haven't gone over but just trust me on this we'll be going over it i think in i think about five tutorials from now we'll uh, be getting to it but what basically happens is if get line is successful in reading a line, it'll return true. And while this while this thing is true, it's going to execute all the code in this code block. So say if get line uh, reaches the end of the lines and it returns false, it'll exit out of this uh, open and close brackets and it will begin to execute everything here. So it'll execute this return one statement, which means we've returned successfully. So um, if it's successful, uh, it'll read it into lines. So say we want to output it back into the uh, OF stream. In order to do that, um, remember how we had standard out. I guess we can also print it. That might also be a good idea. So let's just do C out, out, and line. 
And oh yes, sorry, I forgot to include IO stream in this because that's what we need in order to use C out. Because um, I wasn't actually planning on doing it, uh, but we can do it just so we can see that it's actually reading it in. And then we're also going to oh, and this should actually be line. Uh, we should also output that line into the um, file that we're reading. And I'm not entirely sure if you can also use end line here, but I just like to use the new line character because it's a file. Um, someone can like check this and run it and like post a comment on whether or not end line works, but I'm not going to test it here. Um, all right, great. So I think this will end up working. Let's go ahead and build. And the project was built successfully. We have our in and our out. Let's go ahead and try and run this thing. And console, you can see in our in.txt, the overall blah, 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 pro duck, all this information about ducks. So that means, okay, cool, we've successfully read in the file. Um, and uh, usually you might have to like close this file, but I'm pretty sure if stream and OF stream take care of it when it gets out of the scope of main. And we'll also, that scoping is another thing we'll be talking about later. But anyway, let's check out out.txt. As you can see, when I clicked it, it has been changed, which means something's happened to it. This is just how Eclipse works when you change a file. We can say, uh, yes, we want to replace that. Oh, we look, and we can see that the exact thing of in and out, like they're exactly the same. So this has been successfully read from and write to a file. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you'd like to know anything more about C++, make sure you follow me. Um, I should have a playlist of all these tutorials up very soon. Um, I'll be releasing these bi-weekly. I don't know how much, but um, make sure to leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that YouTube junk. This is Quackware signing out.